Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create amazingly high converting video ads for your dropshipping stores so you can start making your first sales with dropshipping. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a video ad that's already doing well for a potential product that you want to sell. So we are just going to be recreating this dropshipping video ad over here. So if I just go and play this and as you can see it's a really basic product so it is just a sofa cover and the video ad is what's actually selling this product because the product is fairly basic itself but because the video ad is so well created this is what's actually selling the product so if we just go and watch a few more seconds of this you can see they've just got some basic captions going over what the product is what the benefits of it are and then they've just got some nice images and videos of how to go and set up the product so if you want to go and find these types of video ads you can go and use a tool called dropper spy so i used this tool to go and find this video ad and basically what this software allows you to do is go and search for different products and find video ads for certain types of products so we'll leave a link in the description to dropper spy so if we just go and have a look at this ad over here we can see it's got 4k views almost 355k sorry 355 comments 511 shares so it's doing really well and like i said it's a really basic product we're going to have a look at this store it's a really clean store but the product itself is pretty basic so anybody could go and sell this product but as I said because the video ad is so well done that's what's actually increasing the sales on the product so the second step that you are going to do is go and install a Chrome extension called easy Aliexpress video finder and basically what this Chrome extension allows you to do is go and find videos on Aliexpress for any product so once you go and install this Chrome extension and once again I will leave a link in the description to the easy Aliexpress Aliexpress video finder Chrome extension and then when you go over to Aliexpress you can start searching for products so over here I've just gone and searched for that sofa cover product and as you can see up the top here if it has this little green icon next to it it basically means that this product has a video so you can see this one's got a video this one's got a video this one's got a video then as we scroll down a few less products have the video so this one has a video this one has a video so that's a really great benefit of using the aliexpress video finder chrome extension because you don't have to sift through loads of different products to go and find some product videos now once you have gone and found those product videos all you need to do is just go and right click on the product click inspect element when you are in the chrome browser then you can go and find the link to the video and then you just go and download that video so i've just gone and downloaded a few of these different videos that that we are going to use for footage for this product when we are recreating this video ad over here. Once you have got your video footage from Aliexpress, the next thing that you are going to do is head over to InVideo. And this is the video editing software that we will be using to create these dropshipping video ads. So once again, I will leave a link in the description. Now, InVideo is a completely free platform, but if you want to go and use some of their upgraded features, such as free stock footage and copyright free music and over 4,000 different templates, then you can always upgrade your plan. And if you use the code code EP25 at checkout, you will get 25% off. So their pricing ranges from $30 per month to $180 per year. But like I said, you will get 25% off if you use the code EP25. So I'll leave a link in the description to InVideo. So once you have gone and signed up for InVideo, from here you can go and find a template to use to go and create your dropshipping video ads. So as I mentioned, there are over 4,000 templates for any niche that you are looking to go and start dropshipping in. So if we just come in here, because this is the decor niche, I'm just gonna go and type in decor over here, and then I'm gonna go and find all of the different templates that are related to decor. So we can see we've got this one over here, Diwali decor. Now you can go and change the dimensions of your video ad depending on where you are planning on running it. So if you're planning on running on Facebook, of course, you're gonna go for square. But if you're thinking about maybe running YouTube ads or running Pinterest ads, you can always go for vertical or wide. So I'm just gonna go and choose square over here and then once again i'm just going to go for this decor template so i'm just going to go and click on this now you can always go and view the template just like this before you actually go and decide that you want to use it for your dropshipping video ad so once you have gone and chosen a template you can just go and click on use this template over here once the template loads we can start creating our dropshipping ad now the first thing that i am going to do is i'm just going to go and create one scene now when it comes to scenes 
you don't want your scenes to be any longer than three to four seconds because you want to constantly keep the customer's attention. And if the scenes are too long, they'll get bored and they'll eventually just scroll away from your video ad. So over here, you can go and change one of your scenes. So you'll see scene duration and you can just go and change this to four seconds. Now I'm just gonna go and create one scene and I'm gonna duplicate it multiple times after I have created the first scene because that way we don't have to do all of the extra legwork changing every single scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and click on this and you can just go and click on delete scene. So I'm gonna go and delete all these scenes. So now that I have deleted the scene, I'm left with this single scene and we can start creating our dropshipping ad. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do with this template, I'm actually just gonna go and delete one of the areas where you can add footage. And I'm just gonna go and drag this area so we've only got one single area to go and add footage. Now, depending on what scene you use, you might just have one area where you can go and drag footage. So don't worry too much about that. But the main thing that you are going to want to do is go and upload your footage that you downloaded from AliExpress. So you can go to uploads, you can go to upload media, and then you can just go and upload the videos that you downloaded from AliExpress. So now that we have gone and done that, you are going to want to go and drag some of the media into your template. Now over here, if we go and have a look at this, we can see through from the video that we are replicating we've just got someone using the product so they're just going and putting the cover over the sofa and the caption just says turn any sofa brand new within seconds so we want to go and do something similar to this so i'm going to be using this footage over here so what we can do is we can just go and drag this onto the template like this and then just go and hit replace so it's going to replace the original media with your aliexpress video so now you want to go and find the part where you want your scene to start so i just want it to start where they're actually going and chucking the product so they're actually putting the cover onto a sofa so i'm going to go and start from here over here so just here so over here we can see that's 2320 so we can go and drag our timeline down and then down here where it says time we can just go and type in 23 20 to make sure that it's exactly where we want it to start so let's just go and put 20 in there so you can see maybe i just need to bring it a little bit more forward so maybe something around 2360 so let's go for 2350 and see how that goes so we're just going to start the scene here and we want it to just end where they are covering it over their sofa so just around here so that's around 2480 if you are enjoying the video so far make sure to subscribe for more e-commerce and dropshipping content and give the video a big thumbs up. So once you have gone and trimmed your footage where you want your first scene to start, you can just go and click on done. So now we have our first scene over here and we can see it's really short because it's only a few seconds long. Now what I actually want to do is I do want to go and add some extra footage to this first scene. So in order to do that, we can go to open timeline over here and we can just go and make this scene a little bit longer so let's just go and make it sort of around four seconds, just under four seconds. So we're just going to make it like that. Then we're just going to go to back and then we're going to go and find where this scene ends. So where this part of them putting the cover over the sofa ends. So we can see it ends here and I'm going to go and add some other media on top. So what I'm going to do is once again, I'm just going to go and drag my media over here. And now I'm going to go and find a bit where she's sort of stretching it out. So if we just go down over here, we can see she's sort of over here she's stretching it out so that's around 47.95 so once again i'm just going to go and drag this down like this and then i want it to end where she's just sort of pulling it so over here i'm just going to go and hit done again so now we can go and see that this media we don't want it to be over the top so where this one ends so over here where it just sort of ends around here then i'm going to go and drag this media to just over here so that way what i can do is now i can go and stretch it out like this and we can stretch this part out like this. So now we can go and see that if we go and bring this back to the beginning, they're, they're throwing it over the top and then she's just sort of stretching it out. Now, as you can see, it's got this Chinese caption over here. So we're gonna go and cover that up with our own caption. So what I'm gonna do is firstly, I just want the scene to just end here. So once again, we can go to timeline and now we can just go and drag our timeline to where this ends. So we can just go and drag the timeline to here and then we can go to back to all scenes. So now we're gonna go and add our first caption. So the first caption over here says, turn any sofa brand new within seconds. So we're just gonna go and add that. So over here, what you can do is you can go and click on your caption. Firstly, we're gonna go and change the font. So I'm just gonna go and change this font over here. Now, InVideo has thousands of different fonts that you can go and use. So just go and search for a font you like. So I'm just gonna go and choose this monster app, extra bold. And what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go and change the colors. So I'm gonna go for this sort of bright, vibrant yellow color that they're also using over here so in order to do that we can go to colors so I'm gonna go and change the box color to yellow like this and then I'm gonna go and change the text color 
to black like this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and add turn any sofa brand new within seconds, just like they have on their caption. So here I have my first caption and what I can do is I can just go and drag it to make it bigger. And then I can just go and drag it over the top of that caption over there. So let's just make it a little bit bigger so it is covering the whole thing. Then you can just go and make sure that it's aligned to the center. Now, one other thing that you want to do is make sure that any music in your media from your AliExpress video has been turned off or any background noise. So in order to do that, what we can do is we can go and click on the media. We can go to volume over here and we can just go and turn this to zero. And then we can go and do the same thing. So if we just scroll along in this scene, we can go and click on this one. Once again, we can go to volume and we can just go to zero like this. So now any background sound from the actual AliExpress video itself will not show up and we're just gonna go and have the music itself. So let's just go and view our first scene over here. So we can see turn these any sofa brand new within seconds and we've got them putting it on and then we've got her over here just using it. Now you just see that there's a little black bit here so we want to just go and make sure that that overlap is gone. So we can go back to timeline over here and what we can go and do is just make sure that this media one is exactly lined up with this media down here. So now if both of the medias are lined up, there won't be any missing part in the middle. So we can see it just goes straight like that. So as a matter of fact, you can see there's just li this little second where there's a bit of food with her walking. So we wanna go and just trim that down as well. So what we can go and do is, we could just go and start this media from here like this. And then we're just gonna go and drag it back over here. And then what we can do is we can just drag the whole scene down like that. So now we can just go back to all scenes. And once again, we should be able to just go and play this. So if we just go and play this now, if we just hit play, and we can see turn any sofa brand new within seconds and we just got her stretching over. So now all we need to do is just go and duplicate this scene and we simply just need to go and change the footage and change the captions. So all I'm gonna do over here is I'm just gonna go and click on this. I'm just gonna go and hit duplicate. I'm gonna go and hit yes over here. And now we have gone and duplicated that. All we need to do is just go and change our captions and our footage. So for the second scene, I'm just gonna go and drag some media in here and go and hit replace once again. And then I'm just gonna go and trim this media down. So if I just come in here and I just go and choose 24 like this. And like I said, because we don't want the scenes to be longer than four seconds, I'm just gonna go and trim this to 28 over here. And then I'm just gonna go and hit done. So now if we go and play this once again, over here we can see we have this and then it moves into this bit over here now as you can see this has got music on it once again so i'm just going to go and get rid of the music so we'll just go to volume over here and just go and change that to zero once again so now you want to just go and change your captions like i said so over here we have premium elastic cover for your sofas so i can just go and add that in here and then once again i can just go and cover up their own caption with my caption like this so then as we scroll across we can see the second part of the scene i want to just go and replace this footage once again as well so once again i'm just going to go and drag this on here like this and hit place and once I have gone and cropped the video I can just go and hit done once again so let's go and play our full scenes now over here so we can see turn any sofa into brand new within seconds then we've got premium elastic covers for your sofas so once again I just need to go and remove the background music over here from this so I'm just gonna go and click on this and I can just go and put this to zero now if you notice over here you can see over here the caption doesn't cover this up until straight after. Now you can go and easily change that once again. So what you can go and do is you can go to your timeline owner over here and what you can do is you can just go and drag your caption to the beginning. So that way it's covered up straight away. So if we go back now and if we just go and play these two scenes over here, if we just go and hit play, And that way you can go and see that it was covered up straight from the beginning. So like I said, all you need to do now is just click on your scene, just go and hit duplicate, and then you just need to repeat that process a few more times, switching from the different captions. And you can just go and use your captions. For example, over here it says quick and easy installation. So from the video ad that you gained inspiration from, you can just go and use their captions just like they have done over here. Now, once you have gone and done that a few different times and you're switching between your different scenes and you've got a few different captions outlining the benefits of your product, you want to end your dropshipping video ad with a strong call to action prompting the customer to go and purchase the product. So in order to do this, we're gonna go and click on plus over here and we're gonna go and click from template. 
and what we can do from here is where it says search templates you can just go and type in buy now to go and search for a call to action so just go and have a look at template that's similar to the template that you've been using so if we just scroll down over here i could potentially use this one over here so you can just go and click on view scenes and then you can just go and pick a scene that will be your final call to action so we just got this one over here open for pre-order so i'm just going to go and click add scene over here and then just go and click yes and then what you can go and do is you can go and replace this product image with the image of your product so in order to go and get an image of your product you can just go over to your aliexpress listing once again you can just go and right click inspect element again and then all you need to do is just go inspect the element then just go and grab the link to the image and then you can just go and open up that link right click save the image then you can go over to a website called remove.bg which i will leave in the description once again and you can just go and remove the background on the image so then we can go and head back to in video and then we can just go and upload your image over here so you can see i've got my image uploaded and then all i'm going to do is just go and drag the image in here like this and then i can just go and hit replace then we can just go and make this a little bit bigger so let's just go for something like that and then you can just go and change the colors once again of your template so if we just go and click over here we can go and see we've got canvas color so i'm just going to go and change it to this vibrant yellow so we can just go and choose canvas color and we can just go and add that in there and then we can see this bottom bit which is blue we can go and change as well so if we go to layers you can see we've got diagonal shape so if we just go and unlock this over here we can go and click on the pencil icon we can go to edit we can go to colors then once again we can go and change this to the vibrant yellow color like that so now if i just go and drag this down over here like this now where it says open for pre-order you can just go and change this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go and say get yours now and then where it says pre-order i'm just going to go and put the name of the domain name in so we can just go and say wondercover.com and then you can go and see get yours now wondercover.com while stocks last and you can always go and muck around and change the colors of the text as well so if we go over to colors over here i could go and change this text to black we can go and see if that looks a bit better so personally i think that looks a lot better so i'm just going to go and change all of this text over here now so now i've just gone and changed the text color as well now the last thing that i recommend that you should do for all of your scenes is to go and add your logo to all of the scenes on your dropshipping ad and that's to stop other dropshippers from copying your ad completely so just downloading it and using it as well so what you can do is you can go to logo over here you can go and upload your logo and then what you can do is you can go and just click on add to all scenes and then it will go and add your logo to all of the scenes and what you can do is you can just go and make it a little bit bigger so there's our logo like that and if we just go to all of the scenes you can go and do that on all of the scenes so if we just go over here we could potentially move this one to this corner over here so that way we can just go and make it a little bit bigger and a bit more visible and then over here if we just go to the last one you can just go and once again muck around and just make sure that your logo is on all of your scenes so something like that so that way like i said that just prevents other dropshippers from copying your ad outright so let's go and have a look at that final call to action scene over here if we just go and play this we can go and see it says get yours now and it's got our domain name so like i said that's a good strong call to action and we're just putting in while stocks last because that just goes and adds scarcity to the product and fear of missing out which means people are more likely to purchase so once you have done that your video is basically ready to go download share and export now before you do that i definitely recommend that you join the nvidia community because there's over 20,000 marketing experts, video creators, and dropshippers just like yourself. And you can go and ask for feedback on your videos within the InVideo community, and people will go and give you loads of different feedback. So I'll leave a link in the description to the InVideo community. And like I said, make sure you go and join that if you want to get involved and find out more feedback and just get information from video marketing experts. So now we're just going to go and hit download and share and then we're just gonna go and hit export. Now, once this has finished exporting, we're gonna go and have a look at the two videos side by side, the original one that we found using Dropperspy and the new one that we have created.
If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos on how to generate traffic to your Shopify dropshipping stores using completely free traffic. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more e-commerce and dropshipping content. Give the video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in one of those videos.